Well, hey guys, so as I promised, today we're going to start building this application. Um, well, I showed you in the last preview, but let's, for the ones that didn't see uh, what this thing is about, it's going to allow us to make multiple HTTP calls. You can add uh, more calls onto what I'm going to show you. Okay, so this one is only accepting two. So let's say submit. And we're going to get the two calls. As I said before on the preview, uh, we're not going to worry on how to cache this call so it doesn't make the call again once we uh, submit again. Okay. But, um, well, you could use, uh, I think it's share replay to get that working if you want to cache that, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, since it's just one line of code that should be able to allow us to cache the request. But if I uh, click only one, it's going to be only a uh, one call. Well, one call is going to be a uh, successful and the other one is going to have an error, but that error isn't going to break the application. Okay. So we'll show you how to handle that. And if I try to choose more than two, it's going to tell me that we are only allowed to choose two. So that's it. And in case you are um, interested, it's kind of responsive. Okay. So you will have that. I'm not going to worry about the CSS. Um, so I will paste that at the end. Let's just worry about the functionality. I'm planning to, okay, we see we have an error here, but it's because um, the favicon, I think that's the favicon. Oh no, it's because uh, that bar request. Okay, it's because the bar request that I explained uh, before, this one, but that doesn't, uh, that is not going to break the application. So, uh, as I was saying, I'm going to start building a um, front end, okay, like UI um, things with HTML, CSS, and maybe React Angular. So, for you to stay tuned in the channel, if you want to learn more things about creating navigations, creating different effects, also with 3 uh, I'm going to share, I think next week or the other week, uh, we're going to start with 3 AS. But for that, and let's start with this. I'm still kind of sick. Sorry if you um, get bothered by that, but I'm going to a uh, close application. And uh, no, I'm not going to close this. I'm just going to move this to my other screen, okay? Um, so, I already have the project, in case you're wondering why I have this, well, it's kind of Halloween week, okay, this background, I was looking for something that it was, or either really, really, really dumb, okay, or stupid, some background that looks stupid uh, about Halloween, or something really cute, I ended up um, choosing or seeing something cute, and well, something... Uh, well, fuck that. <laughs> Just to get the kind of the vibes of Halloween, although we don't celebrate Halloween. Well, we kind of celebrate Halloween here in Mexico, but uh, it's more about the day of the dead. So let's continue after that stupid uh, nonsense. So I already created the project, okay? Let's this. I already created the project, so this one is with Angular 8, of course. We'll be using Angular 8. I'm not going to show in well, you need to have Node.js install and all that. Uh, okay, just let me do some things. Okay, you need to have a Node.js, the Angular CLI, if you want to kind of learn how to install that, let me know, I'm, I'm going to install it, I don't know, uh, you should already 
uh, be able to install Angular CLI and Node.js. I have some other videos where I show you not how to install them, but where to find them, and it's just a simple installation. So uh, let's open this one with code, okay? And let's run this one. So we have that. I'm still using Git Bash. I haven't updated my PC. So let's say ng serve. And also, uh, I'm using uh, not the latest CLI. I think one before or two before that. Uh, because now, when you create a project, it's going to uh, ask you if you want a uh, routing and all that shit, you know. If you want a SAS and all that. And also to integrate it with Firebase, I think they have that already. So I also rather to do it by hand. That's why I'm not thinking about uh, updating my. This is taking a little bit. That's why I'm not thinking about updating my CLI because it's not needed and I don't want to dump down the the projects okay i want to show you how everything is being done in case you need to uh, do it by hand so i have that open okay it's going to take a bit i don't know why but um okay he's starting just to see that in the in the browser let's close this I have a little runny nose if you haven't if you heard that okay so sorry about that again okay we have this multiple HTTP calls angular okay of course no error because it's this is the um, scaffolding that angular creates so let me move that to my other screen and let me move this to my other screen too just to have that oh well let's keep it here and let's just minimize that okay so what we're going to do we're going to create a service let's create a ag generate a component called main because i want to do this in another component not inside the app um, the app component okay we have the main component there and let's say ag generate service uh, let me call it call well just like that because i'm really good with namings so let's hit enter and um, wait for that okay so we have the call service the service isn't that big it's just uh like 40 lines of code okay so uh, we have this oh okay i forgot angular Navigation, I think. Okay. I also want to show you how you can research things. I always I do this every time on my Angular projects because I forget that thing. Uh, Integrate route with. Okay. We copy this to get the routing. Paste it. This one is going to generate the module. Okay, for the routing. Uh, when it finds the app okay, a component that's why it says flat uh, when it uh, reaches okay, the app folder so now we have that and I'm going to configure uh, pretty quickly the main to use a lazy loading so what I'm going to do is Create another file called main a dash routing that module that is an other one that is going to be just the main that module that is if I can type correctly. Okay, I'm just going to copy this. I showed this a uh, or I build this in my Firebase, I think, course with RxJS in more detail, so you can check that. 
you know, give me more views. <laughs> you can check that and understand how this thing is working. I'm going to copy the main module. Okay. So remember that since here we're uh, using interactive forms, we need to import them on our app component. Sorry, this one. And import them back again inside this uh, module. So everything that uses this module understands what it needs to uh, reach. Okay. So let's go to app component maybe. Let me just uh, feed this into my other screen. I have my other code. And uh, yes, I'm an app component that TS. Not TS. I'm not looking for this. Module. Sorry, sorry. App module. <sighs> I'm kind of. So we should have, okay, the main component is not going to go here because it's going to be lazy loaded so we can remove that and well it seems I don't have the forms added well, let's see how this goes it should be okay as far as I see I I didn't have uh, well I don't have the forms here but let's say import just for you to see uh, from I think it's angular forms what the fuck angular forms what I want is a uh, reactive forms just to have this in case a uh, it wants it okay the module I'm not sure it if this is imported by default now in Angular A, because I don't have it in my project, but it's working uh, perfectly. Also, we need to import uh, from um, Angular a common HTTP, the HTTP client module, HTTP client module and let's add it to our imports so we can use that okay so this should be a uh, okay and I think we can start creating the service or maybe um, yeah maybe I think we should start with a component Okay, so let me just get something from the HTML. Now this one is this. Copy and paste. So I'm not going to worry about the image here. I'm using a different font in case you are wondering why this thing is using a kind of this um, symbols. Let's call it like that. So I'm using a different form, a different form, no, a different, um, let's refresh this. Okay, this is not working, right? Okay, let you serve. Let's move this to my other screen, okay. As I said, uh, I'm using another font. The font I'm using is a Cascadia, okay. In case you are interested, because it's going to uh, show us some kind of symbolism. Uh, in the syntax, so let's say Cascadia um, Microsoft. So I don't know if this, if it's this one, if a repository page. Okay, so here you can download the Cascadia TTF, okay? install it, and um, you will need to configure that if you want me to check this because I have that somewhere um, if you want the font I can do it I can show you how to install it and how to configure that so this thing is not working it seems okay we have an error that that is other outlet 
it's not an on element um, and that is because why this thing is not router outlet we have the app module installed I mean the app routing module so I'm just going to run again the server the dev server so let's see if that also I don't have the routes so let me just copy the routes it's just a single route with the main module so let's see okay angular news with rxjs it seems that was the problem i didn't have the routes and sometimes you need to uh, rerun the dev server because angular doesn't uh, understand some imports unless you um, restart the server so okay we have this router outlet is set everything is set so we don't need this app that component HTML anymore okay okay that's one the routes if you want to check the routes go to my firebase and rxjs uh, i have a lazy loading where we show uh, where i show how to build this and we shouldn't need now the module ts and the main module is not needed anymore and the routing is not needed anymore okay so that was the routing module what we need now is the main component and the HTML in case, okay, I want to open. So, let's go to the main component and I'm going to start this differently, creating the section. So, in this section, we're going to have a new form. I'm just going to copy and paste this, okay? And I'm going to pause a little bit so you can um, copy this and continue. So this one is going to run this get data using the form values, okay? The post form values because this is the name of the form that we uh, will have in the main component. Okay, you can see that the post form is using uh, the get data with the form values that is just this select. You can see the form control name is sources and we have this multiple that this multiple is going to allow us to uh, choose as it says multiple uh, inputs or options inside this so we're going to have this let source of sources we're going to call the sources because um, there's no other way to select any option if we don't have the sources and we are going to pass the value id because this is kind of shorthand that they have that they use inside the API to make the calls, okay, make the references, and we're going to use the source name. I'm going to show this in a bit, so let me save this and let me go to my uh, main component to get the um, the form, only the form. I'm going to import the validators and all that I'm going to create a sum I know some people don't like me to paste these things but this is just defining the sources the first set and the second set remember that we're going to have a, the user to choose two options so the first set is going to have the set of resources the returns from the first uh, observable and the second set the same but for the second observable you can add more and you will see how so we need this public form um, defined so this one is a new form group only with the sources remember that the sources you need to add the form control name equal to what we have here okay if you have multiple then you add multiple uh, inputs or whatever uh, matching the form name controls so this one is going to have only the required validators meaning that it's only going to be required we can add 
a more and this one is the value by default okay we don't want anything by default so we leave it a, like an empty string so this should work and you can see we have these sources okay but this is empty and we have something weird there okay so now we have this we can start with the service and start creating or uh, retrieving the sources i think i didn't mention this but we're going to use the news api so let's say news api this one is free, uh, create your account, get your API key, it's going to, uh, well, you are, you are going to follow a process. I can't remember very well, but it's free. You only are uh, limited to some uh, um, calls per day, but you can use it, okay? They show you how to use it, but of course we're going to use it here, so you don't need to see that. Just in case you want to follow along with that. So, uh, here, and let's start building. Okay, let me just, this freaking thing I had to work around, but it fucked that. So, let's start importing what we're going to use. So, we're going to use, uh, let me copy this, I'm going to explain it. The observable of, and we're not going to use throw error, okay? I was testing something, so uh, throw error is not going to be useful here. We're just only going to import observable and off from full RxJS. Here, we're not worry. Uh, we're not going to worry about the headers and HTTP response because we're going to handle those in a different way. Okay, so we only want the HTTP client that we already have inside our imports in the app.module.ts. Now, we're going to use not from join, combine latest. Combine latest is going to allow us to combine multiple. Um, observables well as well as for join for join does the same the difference uh, between for join and combine latest is, is that for join needs to uh, wait for each observable to finish okay so it can continue uh, giving us the the values but combine latest doesn't need that it kind of does uh, the calls and the observables in a uh, you could say a parallel way so it's kind of working all together and it doesn't need uh, the observables to be completed or um, yeah because if we have an error we could say that it's going to be completed but with an error okay and that one if we use for join is for join sorry it's going to break the other observable so it's not going to continue with the other observable that's why we're going to use combine latest instead of fork join so fork join is if someone breaks if the first one breaks well that's his fucking problem so it's going to continue as long as the other one emits a value is going to show us so import a uh, no we can't keep the bounce map and switch map out of the equation here and we're just uh, going to use catch error because we need to catch the error that happens inside the observables okay with the responses so we're going to create the public i'm going to create all this by hand everything that uh, is in depth of the tutorial is going to be created by hand okay other things like uh, adding the forms and things like that is just pure HTML and some things if I need to explain something I'm going to explain it but um, it's not really that important you can find that 
in, in multiple resources. So it's not a big deal. And of, um, of course, you can ask me, okay? If you want, a, I don't know, a, a beginner's tutorial, a really, really a beginner's tutorial about Angular, I can make it, I can build it, showing you how to get all this, okay? The interpolations and all that. But I just want to uh, show in this kind of tutorials the things that you are going to need and not some um, you know, not some things that you can easily find out by yourself. So we're going to get the resources. So inside the news API, we have this call that uh, is going to allow us to get all the resources that they have. So we're going to say this that HTTP that I'm so fucking stupid. I didn't add that. Okay, I forgot. So let me copy and paste this. So remember that everything we need to instantiate inside the class of the components. Okay, uh, for example, this class service is not is well. We need to add them inside the constructor so it can reference that. So now we can say this that HTTP client because this is the name that we uh, gave it. Okay, this is the type. Okay, of the you can see property call service that HTTP client type uh, HTTP client. Okay, that is coming from here. So that get I'm going to copy all this. Okay, it has my key. I don't give a fuck. Okay, so this is the HTTPS newsapi.org volume uh, one sources and with these sources we need to pass the api key that is the api key we get once we subscribe to the um, to the news api um, service okay remember that it's free if you want to uh, get your own key to follow along you can do it Okay, I think that's going to be the best for you to have all the resources you need in case you want to add uh, or create some other things with that same API. You will have the API key. So as I said, it's free, so go get it. Okay, so this one, let's uh, stop here. So this one is going to get all the sources, resources, no resources, sources. Okay. And below here, we're going to handle the get data. Get data. Let's call it like that. So we're still not using any of these. Okay, line two, four, and five. So don't worry about it. We're just going to return this and show it in the um, in the component, just for you to see that. So let's go to main component and. I'm going to import my call service that this is the name that uh, we gave to that. Um, why? Cannot find module calls calls service. Okay. It's not calls, it's call. Because I fucked my name in again. Okay, it's call service. Well, it's just an S. So <laughs> it's in a big deal. So Uh, just let me check for a second. Good. Uh, okay. So we should be able to. We already have the sources here. Okay. So what we're, what we're going to do is inside this ng only need this dot call service call because I forgot that again, because I'm, well, let me just get that. So remember, <laughs> we have this call service and we need to pass the call service, okay? Call service and call service inside our constructor. So we can reference that using this, that call service. Now we can see that. And that get sources that is the function we just created here. Okay, get sources that, that is going to return all the sources 
that's why we are using return here because we want to get a uh, what this http uh, call returns so we're going to subscribe to this and just for good measure let's say on destroy because i'm actually subscribing to that uh, let's implement because i don't have that but let's implements no sorry it's a comma and on destroy now it wants us to say ng on destroy and we need to get a this is not in my in my tutorial okay i just don't want to uh, although it shouldn't be a problem with this specific thing but let's say public uh, sources I want to show you how you can close this thing. So we need this to be a subscription. It's going to out import that from RxJS. And we uh, only need to say uh, this that subscription, source subscription is going to be equal to this that call service get sources subscribe. We get the response from the server. And let's say, um, uh, this that sources subscription that unsubscribe we want to we want to unsubscribe uh, from this subscribe because we're subscribing a uh, per se in this after uh, we want the subscription to be destroyed after the um, we move to another component okay Be but because this one is just a single component, well, we don't really need this, but let's continue with the best practices so you don't get lost when you see that. So, the response, let's say console.log the response. Just have some spacing there. And what we're going to do now is say this that sources, I think we should be able to use async, but let's just uh, get this. So this sources is going to be, I call this one, I call this one, okay, let's handle it like this. I don't know why I call this one a uh, So I was checking, yeah, I was checking something else. Okay, sorry about that. It's just the same. Uh, um, the naming is the only thing that we're going to change just to follow what I have so I don't get lost. So this response is going to have the sources. So I'm going to show this uh, where we get this. So the problem is get sources is not a function. Um, what error in main HTTP component main main TS component TS error property get sources don't exist on type call service. The fuck are you telling me? Okay, it wasn't um, saved. Sorry about that. I didn't realize. So, yeah, you can see we have the sources, and this is what we're going to get when we make the call. Okay, so we get a status OK and the sources array or sources property that contains an array. That's why I'm um, getting from the response the sources property, and here. I'm assigning the sources to these sources and I'm looping through those sources. So each source, okay, inside the sources we just uh, passed here, we're going to get the source ID as the value and the source name inside an option. Okay, so that's that, that's the first part. Now, um, we can start creating the well the other thing is the 
HTML, but let's actually get to this. So we can finish this one in the component. So called service is fucking my word wrap inside my other um, application. So just give me a second. Okay, I'm going to get it like that. What we're going to do now is to create the function that is going to get the data from the calls. Okay, but here we're going to pass a source, so source one and source two. Okay, these ones are going to be a, or we're going to respond with an observable of type any. We're not going. We are not going to get too much into. Uh, what well, we're going to pass there, so let's say any for, you no, know, just to get that working. Constant option, not option, but option. One is going to be equals to. We're going to make here the call. So let's say this that HTTP client that get. Okay, I'm going to copy this. Because this is the first part of the call, I'm going to add this plus. Uh, we can use backticks, but just uh, so you can see what is going on. Okay. I tend not to abstract too much the code if um, if I'm making a tutorial, unless it's something that is intended for. Okay for something more intermediate then I actually do all the abstractions okay the short hands but here since RSJS is, is kind of different thing I just want to show you uh, where everything fits together using a syntax that you can understand okay if you have been working with ES5 so that's the first call and we're going to pass the, this one is uh, complaining because we're not responding with anything we're not returning anything so don't worry about it let's say constant 2 so let's view toggle word wrap okay we have that constant option 2 this that HTTP client that get and we make the other call that is just the same I'm going to copy all this that is going to be inside this get okay so here we're going to pass the source to and you can add source 3 make another call okay another constant that a uh, gets the call and keep going until you are satisfied with what you want Okay, or with what you need. So let's say return here now again. Return. Now we're going to use a, our magic word combine latest. Okay, so here you can see that this stops complaining once we hit the return because this one is going to uh, return us an observable with a duple value. I think it's called duple value. I, I can remember. So let's not get into that technical stuff. It's going to return a, something like an array. Okay, let's say that. So here, command latest takes a observables as the values that we're going to pass inside this kind of array. Okay, so let's uh, hit enter and get uh, some space in there, so it looks cute. So let's say option one. Okay, remember that we have this constant option one. And this is what combine latest is going to allow us to use pipe, I think for join can, but in case for join a brace, it's going to stop the chain and say, fuck it, I'm done um, and deal with that. So now this one is going to allow us to pipe and catch. Remember that, okay, let me make a, a, a pause here a pause a, 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 a. so let's say you might be thinking okay but option you can just set before that 
pipe is only going to be used or a is going to be used with observables okay then why you are using that <coughs> with um, this HTTP client because this one is a the um, HTTP calls here are um, observables and you might be thinking why these observables that you say that, that are these HTTP HTTP calls, why we don't unsubscribe okay, from them once we make the call or something like that, okay? Because you don't see this one being unsubscribed uh, during the code, okay? Or, or during other, uh, on another applications. You don't see really this one. Why? Because it has a kind of, let's say, a timer that um, or I don't know how to say this, uh, this word, I mean, um, you know, my English is not that very complex, so I'm trying to study a little bit more, but you can, you will see that I will become more fluent in, as the time passes, so <laughs> don't worry about it if you, you know, so uh, once we get kind of the response is going to uh, complete, okay? This one, uh, the HTTP client uh, call is going to be completed uh, as soon as it uh, is done, okay? So even if it returns an error or if it returns, a, a, you know, the values, it's going to be completed, okay, right away. So uh, that's why you don't see this one being unsubscribed because it's going to be completed and that's going to be deleted from the memory, okay? But you will <coughs> you will uh, have the option to subscribe to that and to get the values, okay? So that's, that is kind of uh, something kind of weird if you are a, a little, no, not in depth with this um, functionality, if you are not used to work with uh, observables, in this way or to think about observables in this way but that's why we're going to be able to pipe because this is an observable so inside this we're going to use the catch error okay that the catch error is going to allow us to handle the error so error is going to be just let's say just console.log error and you can do whatever you want here you can also retry because we don't have that okay uh, I know, did that import? No, okay. Yeah, it's not that important. Okay, you can just retry in case you are, uh, you know, there's a problem in the network. Retry uh, with, I think retry takes a uh, resources for reception. Uh, all right, okay, I can remember. I, I wasn't even reading that shit. So uh, <laughs> let's say return, okay. So we need to return an observable using catch error. Or actually we should return, we can return null. Yeah, we can return uh, this, but we want to uh, continue kind of with the chain because remember that this uh, combined latest is going to return us a double value, okay? A kind of array. So we want to continue with this observable kind of behavior. So we're going to return this off uh, that, if you remember my other project with um, the search engine using RxJS, we use this off uh, instead of something like uh, empty because, as you can see, I'm feeling a little more comfortable working with this. So, uh, using a in te, in, instead sorry of using empty because empty is going to uh, return something like does it set here does it says a uh, reachable code because it's inside or is uh, below the return so let's say empty okay you need to import that okay for that it's going to return kind of an empty observable that is not a um, going to uh, help us with the functionality we want that is uh, to display something or kind of continue um, kind of allow the HTML 
to continue working with something. Okay, so we're going to return this observable of null. Okay, if I see my message, okay, sorry about that. And uh, no, we don't need that there, sorry. So this one is going to allow us uh, or allow the HTML to continue receiving kind of something. Okay, it's, uh, it's kind of like feeding air into the component. Okay, so it's going to uh, know, understand that something is being retrieved, but it's like, well, I can just grab the air and use it. Okay, you know, something like that. So let's uh, add another option here that is the option two, that pipe. And we're going to <coughs> and start starting to lose my voice, I think, <laughs> catch error. So uh, I think I'm going to make a pause after this. So I'm still kind of sick, so sorry about it, guys. But you know, life is like that. You get sick and you feel like shit for a week. And then once you start feeling okay, you get hit again with the, f uh, you know, the last symptoms of that fucking sickness, of that fucking illness. Um, well, fuck it. So we do the same, console log return, a uh, console log, I mean the error, and return uh, an empty string, an empty string, I'm fucking stupid, return a, an observable of null, okay, that the HTML can understand, and it's like, as I said, it's like feeding air into something, you know that the air is flowing, but you cannot grab it. Okay, you cannot uh, grab it with your hands and give that to to people. You know, it's kind of like that. So I'm going to start using those fucking stupid analogies <laughs> to to um, kind of give you the understanding you need. So this is already done, and we shouldn't have any error because we're not using this. In the code, so it's not going to display um, even. So I'm going to make a little pause here, drink some water. Okay, uh, it's been like 47. Fuck. So um, I'm going to continue in a bit. So we are going to finish that in the next video. It shouldn't take more than half an hour. Okay, so see you in the next one.